What's up, guys? This is Michael from Critically Absurd TV here with Matt Slay from Three Third Story Dungeon. You almost had it. Oh. Three Story Dungeon. Three Story Dungeon. All right. He's from Three Story Dungeon. He's a freelance artist. He does amazing work. You can see a lot of it right here. So how you been, man? So far, so good. Been staying busy. Been enjoying your time up here at Tricon this year? Absolutely. It's it's a blast every year. Tricon's one of those party cons you can come to anytime, and it's just always a blast. Been making a lot of commissions up here this year? From start to finish, it's been pretty consistent. It, it always is. This is an art-loving town, so you know the right kind of fans come through the door, and everybody has a good time. So what all have you been working on here lately? Like any big projects you've been doing personally? or? Uh, see, this is that nightmare question at that time when I can't actually say what it is. Yes, the answer is yes. But I can't say what it is. There are two things, and I can't say what they are. So, um, other than these two big projects that we can't talk about and is eating at my soul now, what else has been going on for you? Life in general? That's, I, I don't, I've never been able to answer, how are you? I've never been able to answer that. How are you? I don't know. I woke up. That's a start. I'm still awake. So, what's been your favorite commission that you've done today here at Tricon? Day? Oh, that's unfair. So Ninja Turtle stuff, always, uh, through the roof. Tons of Ninja Turtle stuff. 90s Rogue, I mean, any 90s X-Men stuff I'm in love with. I grew up with that, so why wouldn't I, you know? Um, he's giving you the side eye. Could you speak in that fanboy's language right there? He's being an excellent cameraman. Straight face, dead quiet. No, he's just a robot. <laughs> I mean, I guess my favorite one this year around, there was a, a big color Ghost Rider. Um, I don't usually do a lot of color work at shows because I don't like traveling with a lot of paint. Right. Um, but I, I did a Ghost Rider at the Drink and Draw last night, and I brought it in here to finish this morning. And um, that one worked out really well. So it's, I don't even know what size it was, but three feet by four feet, two feet by four feet. I don't know. It's a big one. Um, now. I've been looking at a lot of these, especially the Thanos one. That's a big one right now, probably for you with Thanos Infinity popular, Wars. But the irony of all that is, anything I do with Thanos on it is going to predate the movie by years and years and years. Um, Thanos was that bad guy from Infinity Gauntlet, which mm -hmm. had, that was a brand new thing when I was just starting to read comics. Um, I've been reading X Men ever since fourth grade, but I didn't really branch out until the Infinity Gauntlet came around. So. You know, he's always been my favorite villain, arguably my favorite character, and now he's in a movie, so why wouldn't I be happy? It's it's worked out well. He's being handled well, and um, I like watching the guy win. What can I say? He's destined to lose, but oh well. So what can you tell me about this one? This one is going to catch my eye a lot. I'm going to be honest. I don't know who this is, and I'm going to probably upset a lot of fanboys. Yeah, you are. At, at least as many, if not more, fangirls. Um, death from the endless family mm -hmm. this is a sandman character um and you're in this room and you don't know that look there's a I knew that. that's a guilty face i have no words <laughs> death is one of the good ones um if you're not familiar with death i think the high cost of living is a good place to start okay. that was a fantastic story uh and anyone who is familiar with the character is going to say yes the high cost of living is a very good definitive story for her uh and uh, she's just a lot of fun um She's fun to work on. There's kind of a Joan Jet quality to her. And I I anytime you get a chance to toss in warm colors to balance out a character like that, you've got to take it. So that piece happened. All right. Well, go buy his stuff. Like, just that I simple. I agree. You should just do what he says. So you got anything else you want to say to anybody out there? Hi, Mom, anything like that? Hi, Mom, or anything like that. <laughs> All right, this has been Michael with Critically Absurd TV. You guys have a good one.